Greetings everyone. On today's video, we are going to see something, something a bit different, I'll say. Um, so for a long, long time, um, I think I've, I've been already blogging about it, uh, the importance of having like a, a, a real solid uh, disaster recovery. Um, Veeam, as you know, uh, the Veeam has a product called Veeam Disaster Recovery Orchestrator. Before it was called Veeam Availability Orchestrator. And this product, it's one of the best out there. Uh, not just because it's Veeam, it is really uh, because the different options that you have to migrate your, wor your workloads to, this, uh, to DR uh, your workload from. For example, Disaster Recovery Orchestrator or VDRO, I think from, from now on I will mention like a, a VDRO itself. Um, you can use uh, the new uh, CDP, meaning Continuous Data Protection. That's what we're, what we're going to see today on the video, by the way. Um, meaning you have one VM on one side, and then you, uh, th thanks to the VMware technology, the, uh, the, the biofilters, Veeam leverages that biofilter to replicate, uh, to do continuous data protection from one host to another host, or from one cluster to another cluster, and so on and so forth. That is really, really, really powerful. That goes down to two seconds uh, replication, near, near, uh, near real time uh, replication. That is one of the sources that you can leverage for Veeam Disaster Recovery Orchestrator. The other one, of course, is Veeam Replica. Veeam Replica, it has been within the product for pretty much since the beginning of the product, um, because Veeam, it's been called for a long time like Veeam Backup and Replication. So the replication party will mean triggering a VMware snapshot and then replicate to the other side. Um, that is for workloads are along the lines of uh, 15 minutes more or less. So if you have workloads that uh, you need to uh, have a copy on another side, uh, uh, just a copy ready for you to be uh, boot up uh, the replica uh, and, and it's around those 15 minutes or more, the Vim replica, that will be that will be a real, real, a real winner. Another uh, use case as well is, for example, the storage snapshot. So VDRO, it has integrations with the storage snapshots as well. Uh, at the moment, uh, NetApp it is supported. I think that uh, one of the Lenovo that it leverages the, the on tap part, uh, just rebranded, um, that it's supported as well. And if I'm not mistaken as well, HP, it has been as well um, announced for VDRO. So just take a look um, into, into the release notes and you will see what it is all about. Um, those stretch snapshots, let's, 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 for example, discuss right now um, the NetApp, NetApp stretch snapshots. That will be, you have your primary array on the primary side, and then you have, um, it can still be primary kind of a storage on the other side, or it can be like a second, um, a second, uh, second array on the other, on the other side. And then you have your snap mirror and then a video row will trigger those, will uh, read those, and it will just be the orchestrator for those snapshots. And then finally, you can leverage, meaning starting the DR process on the on the uh, DR side, you can start them from backups or backup copies as well. Uh, so it's really powerful. I do not know any other product that it can leverage these many different technologies, pretty much for sick. Mm, Hardware agnostic first because of course CDP, meaning you can uh, you need to have VMware on both sides, yes. But the underlying you can have Vision on one side, on the other side it can be a QNAP, for example, that you presented into into VMware. It can be anything really. Um, you can just leverage, of course, your NetApp uh, or your, your HP storage. So it's really, really versatile. So in this video, I wanted to show you end to end what I mean. Uh, with this DR, how it looks like. It will be really, really quick video, probably even uh, less time than what uh, I've taken for to you to explain what all of this is about. So let's take a look into the quick video. If you know Veeam already, a lot of these uh, components, they will be familiar to you. So let's deep dive into the, into the lab itself. Oh, it's okay. Um, if I go over here, now what we can see it's okay i have my vcenter here and i have an nginx as you can see nginx uh, 005 with this ip um so if i open now this ip this ip is just like an nginx so meaning a website the website is up and running 
Um, if I go here, for example, it loads, okay? So my website, it's up and running and it's perfectly fine. Let's take a look into the protection. What am I doing with this uh, VM? As I mentioned, I'm just doing a CDP, Continuous Data Protection Policy. I'm doing it every, let's take a look so that Virtual Machine is at Nginx and then the schedule. I'm doing it every 30 seconds uh, for the last six hours uh, so I can recover at any point in time. As you can see here, the, the sessions is good. Vim is going to try anyways to replicate every 15 seconds instead of 30, kind of the half, just to try to give you a good um, a good SLA. So if I go here into the failover now, directly from the Vim backup and replication console, you can see here how many points do I have. And you can see I can move between thir every 30, between every 30 seconds chunks, right? So you can see I have four maximum of six hours because that is what I have on my policy. You see, at any point in time during those six hours in chunks of every 30 seconds, that is what I have on my Beam Backup and Replication configure. That's that's nice. Um, now let's take a look into, uh, if I go over here, I'm going to behave like, you know, the, v, the vCenter is down or the VM is down, RAM somewhere, you name it, right? So I'm just going to boot off power of the VM, uh, completely dramatic. Imagine you just lost the VM again, RAM somewhere, uh, the right controller, it failed, uh, pff, anything really. Somebody has put in scripts and it delete the VMs, right? So the ping is not, uh, is it not re replying anymore. So ping is down. If I, Okay, if I go into the website I, and I put it here, the website, it should be down as well. Now, this is VDRO. You can still see Veeam Availability Orchestrator, but it's now Veeam Disaster Recovery Orchestrator. My orchestration plan is a CDP policy with my, um, with, let me show you over here on properties, RTORPO. I wanted to be really specific saying, okay, you know, I just aiming to have everything in five minutes up and running. So let's run my CDP policy. So I will enable the plan. I'm going to introduce the credentials for the service account. What this policy, I'm going to use the short-term retention, the latest restore point. That should be like pretty much 30 seconds ago, more or less. And now let's see what this policy does. And as you can see over here, there you go. It's doing it's doing things. Uh, the website is not replying. Can you mine on the bottom right the website is not working. Now what this is doing, I just accelerated the process not much, just so, some seconds. So we are not here five minutes watching uh, how uh, what is happening. But as you can see over here, it's really powerful. It's just put up the VM on the other side uh, from the point that it was 30 seconds ago, more or less. The website, it, it is up and running. Um, so again, Customers probably they have not even noticed, hopefully, because they, it wasn't that a big, big downtime. Uh, but you can see my VM is on the other side already, up and running. It's still doing uh, the VDRO, is still doing some steps because it's just processing the CDP replica VM, means putting up the VM on the other side. And now it's doing the VM heartbeat and verifying that the port HTTP is listening. Let's see. It's checking if the port. 80, it's up and running, so I should not even have the web browser open. But yes, in this case, I wanted to show you end to end what I mean with the whole um, with the whole restore. That's very nice. the The policy has been executed successfully. Let's take a look into the powerful reporting of the tool because that is, of course, one of the best. It has the warning. Let's take a look into what what the warning is. Um, but you can see how many powerful uh, reports it has. So here you can have your logo, uh, the name of the policy. And now if I scroll, this has been generated on the fly. You can see with a nice diagram and everything that I added on the template before, just to make sense when I consume this PDF, when somebody consumes this PDF, to make sense, you know, uh, what is all of this about. It's an Nginx. And you can see that RPO needs to be five minutes. So if the VM took more than five minutes to boot up, that will be uh, as a, that will be a warning. Um, let's see on here the duration. It has been three minutes and forty-four seconds. So it has been down or uh, down over that five minutes. So that is good. It has been achieved uh, that RPO five minutes. 
this policy it has achieved because in three minutes 44 seconds it it was up and running um the rto it is okay so the rto has been achieved as well and as you can see over here if i go into the uh into the policies as well you can see really all the steps that it had been happening um so the verify web server port as well it was uh, verifying the port 80 we have a web browser open so we could check it but as you can see this is really 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 powerful and now you can finally do what you want to do with the plan what do you want to do permanent failover meaning the vm is going to leave on the other side you want to do the fail back or you just want to cancel the plan like nothing happened because you just wanted maybe you were testing the um the whole dr process itself um instead of consume a lot of time like every 30 days or every week where you need to uh, shut down vms recover from backups uh, or from storage snapshots that sometimes it's not that easy because you need to mount them present them blah 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 etc etc with video you can have your plans ready to go ready to go in the case that a real a real uh, problem happens or ready to go just in the case that okay today saturday we are going to shut down these 10 15 uh, 50 vms 100 because we have them already we are doing cdp or we are doing replicas or storage snapshots we have them on a video policy or policies and we want to test meaning put up the vms see that everything replies and then after you can uh you can just kind of uh roll back or cancel and boot up the, the source VMs and that's it. So really powerful. I hope this video, it made sense to you. Uh, again, it was an end to end from the beginning of Vim backup and replication to see a quick uh, quick uh, policy on VDRO. And then we execute it real, real time. It just maybe a bit accelerated on the timing. And then you could see the PDF as well together. So hopefully you enjoyed. If that's so, please leave your comments uh, down below. And yeah, if you want to see it maybe more in detail, more about the different scenarios with VDRO, please let me know and I will be more than happy to produce those content, uh, those videos for you. Thanks so much. Bye.